Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing on this rainy, I mean proper rainy, Sunday afternoon in September? Are we all doing all right? Yeah? You sure? Good, good, good. All right, so this afternoon I am coming to you with my American Beauty Boxes. So, for those of you who don't know, I subscribe to Ipsy. Um, it is an American Beauty Box subscription company. And for me to do that, I needed to sign on with Ipsy, but I needed an address in America for the products to be sent to. So, I signed up to a company that allows me to do my shopping in America. They provide an address. Once you've got all your products delivered to the address, then you arrange for shipment to your home country your home country and the company I use is called Stackery so stackery.com and they're great no problems at all all very straightforward no it's all good um, the only thing is is that if you're not prepared for the cost of shipping it can be you know it can be a, a bit much um, I haven't got a problem with um, the shipping cost based because I get all of the Ipsy so I've got two accounts so I get the glam bag the boxy charm and I get the icon box when the icon box is around as well so the value of everything that I'm getting is way 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 much than anything that I'm paying in shipping costs so I, I'm more than happy to do that so the so what I've got what I'm doing for you today is my Ipsy glam bags from August so because I have to wait for the products to to come before I arrange the um, shipping to come over um, it can take a while so once it's all arrived I then arrange for my shipping the shipping takes about a week so I would say, they say about 10 days and that's how long it takes so it's about 10 days then the stuff arrives and then I, when I do that I'll get the unboxing so that usually means I'll do my opening of my products in the following month so that's why you can see me doing my um, ipsy stuff for august in september which is today's no which is today just to let you know i didn't do um i didn't i skipped the whole of september for ipsy because everything i saw in the spoilers it just didn't interest me at all and I thought you know what I'm not going to do the September Ipsy I didn't see anything of any interest in the um, in the boxy charm or anything in the glam bags and I thought you know what it's all right and that does tend to happen because August was an icon box an icon box is the one that comes out every three months and it has eight items in there and it's usually fabulous it's absolutely fabulous and what I tend to find is that the month after the icon box is never that good so I just said you know what let me skip it and I'll return back to October. So you won't me see you won't see me doing an unboxing of my September things end of this month or beginning of October. Yeah, is that all right? So today I am going to be doing the glam bag, and this was the glam bags in um, in August. So that's the theme. It's very much sort of like that high school um, theme, isn't it? Does that does that make sense to you? It's that kind of high school print, um, no high school musical, not the kind of print they put on the back of the jock jackets and all of that. That's what it reminds me of. So it's very much, um, yeah, it's almost like sort of return to school theme. That's what it kind of reminds me of, even though August was the Olympic month. So I think that is a theme that will show up in the boxy charm and maybe in the icon box. I don't know. But to me, this very much kind of reminds me of the American high school experience the bag is it's like this so it's like a faux leather plasticky kind of thing with this stitched on cloth thing so that's the back and then you've got the handle so the handles usually always very nice so it's like a, a faux leather and then it's got um, ipsy written on it so that's both the same the Ipsy Glam bag is the bottom tier in the Ipsy. So if you want to just start off with Ipsy, this is the way to do it. Go in with the Glam bag. So you'll get five usually sample size or travel size items in there. Um, a variety of products will be skincare, makeup, perfume, hair care, all that kind of things. It will be beauty tools as well. So you don't know what you're going to be getting. Well, actually you do know because Ipsy kind of 
put it on your account and you can see what products you're getting. Um, with Ipsy, you do have a beauty profile, which they kind of loosely follow. And I say loosely, they loosely follow it. So there's a whole big beauty profile quiz that you're supposed to fill out. And, and uh, that covers things like your hair type, your hair colour, your hair style, your skin colour, skin tone, skin whatever. So like, you know, I say that I am dark skin. I've got oily skin. I give my age. I tell them that I like, I like makeup rather than skincare. Um, I don't mind. I don't want things like nail varnishes. I can say I don't want highlighters. Um, what else do I say? I don't want nail varnishes, highlighters. I don't mind perfume, but on a rare occasion. So you can pick the frequency you get in these things. Um, but basically, I say give me the makeup, and I like colourful. So they ask you what kind of colours do you like. So I want colour, 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 colour. I'm not into all the neutral stuff at all because it doesn't really sharpen me. It's for me, it's very boring. Give me colour, lots of colour. And when it comes to lipsticks, I like berry colours. So lots of the pinks and the just the dark colours as well. And that's it. Um, so that's my beauty profile. I've, I've also got a second account where I've given the profile for my daughter. So my daughter is biracial, so she's a lighter skin tone for me. She's got different hair texture to me. She's got different hair needs to me. Um, she's not into the makeup. She'll wear a bit of eyeliner. She'll wear lip gloss. But that's about it, really. Um, and brows. She, she, does, she does like clear brow gels as well because she's got big, thick brows. So she likes brow gel as well. Um, yeah, lip glosses. She's definitely into the skincare um so you know that's it for her so her, one of these bags is going to be more catered to her supposedly but we will see the glam bag is oh god how much is it i think it's 13 dollars or 14 dollars now they also put a, a shipping and handling thing on there so it works out to about 16 dollars which is about 12 pound 15 13 pounds our money so that's how much each of these cost all right you got the basics of the glam bag? All right, so just to remind you, this is the August glam bag. One is my bag, one is my daughter's bag. Well, most a lot of the time there's a lot of repeats. So let's just open up and see what we got. Okay, let's open up the first one. Um, I've got my app here so I can see what the items are. So I'm gonna take the items out. Okay, okay, I'm seeing what we've got here. I'm guessing this bag could be mine. So we've got five items there. Oh, that's what the inside of the bag looks like. So it's all light. Yeah, it's like that. Five items. Let me get the right app. Okay, all right, let's go. So first item I have got is from Benefit. And this is a miniature. One thing about Benefit, when they give their samples out, they literally are samples. They are always tiny. So we've got a Benefit Cosmetics, the Professional Matte Primer. Okay, I might try this one out because I don't, I the 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 Benefit um, primers don't work for me. Um, the original one doesn't do anything for me at all absolutely nothing for me at all the hydration one was actually better for me than the original one but still not one I'd go out and purchase so I'm, I'm willing to give this one a, a try so this one is a professional matte primer um, what does it say this featherweight primer is a multitasking marvel smoothing away the appearance of pores locks in makeup and absorbs excess oils for a flawless and natural looking matte finish that lasts powerhouse ingredients like um, niacinamide a form of b3 vitamin b3 and rosehip extract help to brighten dull skin and improve hydration while reducing oil production to cut down on shine see how tiny that is you see how tiny that is right it's my hand and my hand isn't particularly large but it's it's my hand i would say is a medium size and that is <laughs> literally smaller than my thumb because i say my thumb is from here to down there roughly and i would say it's about the same size as my thumb so it's tiny so that's the first item so there we go at least i get to try it and see if it's something that i like i mean with benefit i love their mascaras and i like their brow products that's it as far as um, benefit goes haven't got along with their skincare products at all Right, next item. Oh, this is a good one. This one is from Elf. Um, this is full size. It's got to be full size. This is 
from Elf Cosmetics and it's a Glow Reviver Lip Oil. This is the product I picked. Oh, with the glam bag, you get to pick one item. So this is the item I picked um, and it's worth $8. The shade I've got here is Pink Quartz and it's just a lip oil, isn't it? So this luscious lip oil packs a punch of hydration and shine thanks to a moisture rich blend of nourishing oils like apricot, avocado, jojoba and pomegranate um, to keep lips soft, supple and smooth. The rosy tint enhances your natural lips but we love it over lipstick too. So there you go. Um, yeah, cool. I may keep this, but I might offer it to my daughter as well. This is definitely full size, I'm sure of it. I mean, they gave a price, so it's got to be, hasn't it? Right, let's see if I can get it out so I can show it to you. Gosh, why is this so difficult to come out? Right, here we go. So that's what it looks like. And then that's the doe foot. I've got a sort of, um, I don't know what the lipstick is I've got on today. I can't remember. But it's slightly minty. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna offer this to my daughter because I think she might like that. She's back at uni next week, so she might want that. Okay, next. Next is from Kira Moon. This is a flower melon hydrating serum. Okay, we've seen this brand before. So it's like K-Beauty, Korean beauty. So what it does, this lightweight oil-free serum is like a big gulp of water for your skin, helping to minimize redness and fine lines and giving you that youthful bounce of your dreams. Packed with ingredients like hyaluronic acid, aloe leaf juice, and super hydrating fruit extracts, this serum is your secret weapon to help achieve smoother, plumper skin after just one go. So that's cool. So third item. Next is a brush. So we've got a brush from Miss S Glam, SL Miss Glam, I always get this wrong. It's a retro eyeshadow brush. So that's cool as well. This is nice. You always know it's a Miss Glam because they've always got the sort of the two sort of fake Diamante sort of stuff things there. So this is full size and they've gone with $21.50. Um, with the SL Miss Glam, it's a very overpriced brand, but the brush is a nice quality. Just ignore the price, um, especially when we get it in our beauty boxes. It's just very, very overinflated. Um, like a magic wand, this eyeshadow brush effortlessly picks up, buffs on and blends out your shadow pigments with its super soft bristles. You'll be reaching for this to create all your fave eye looks, plus the bright retro style design is hard to miss. It is nice, I like that. See Daisy? dropping everything as per usual as everybody knows if I don't drop something in my video there's something very seriously wrong and the final product in this glam bag is from Stone Street Soap House so Stone Street is actually a British brand and we've got a Hey Ho Souffle um, decent amount here we've got 30 mils here um, so it's a deluxe mini and it's just a body lotion really, isn't it? This creamy formula is enriched with English honey and argan, jojoba and almond oils to nourish your dry flaky skin without feeling heavy or greasy. Aromatic, aromatic hints of chamomile, lavender and celery seed extract create a straw-like scent. Ooh, that doesn't sound great. Um, transporting you to a perfect summer day among wheat fields and hay. All right, so yeah, very British. Um, don't forget this was August, so that whole summer day in wheat feels <laughs> when I've got rainy cloudy it's not that bad a scent actually it's okay that's all right okay and yeah it's a light moisturizer it's not heavy heavy so that is all good so that's my first glam bag I'm gonna say that's my bag I think it's my bag personally and I've dropped the brush on the floor right we've got the second bag here so let's show you that right this bag okay Five items again. So let's go with the first one. Let's take everything out. Right, we've got some repeats here. So the first item is from Beauty Vault, and this is the item I picked. My daughter might want this, she might not. It's a little eyeshadow palette. Um, let's have a look. Mm. 
right so it's very neutral shades um this has got a price of 23 dollars again quite expensive but lots of autumn-y neutral shades there so the cut this palette is called or the shade collection is called regal this six shade palette takes the crown in creating gilded eye looks featuring jewel inspired shades like rich matte burgundy and shimmery copper copper these highly pigmented shadows are your perfect go-to for effortlessly creating soft glam looks those are nice colors i would actually wear those colors those are good colors for me definitely um that's the kind of thing i would just throw on very quickly for a quick day look it's a nice combination of colors here you've got two shimmers that are these two this this is this palette actually is very me it's very very me actually i don't know who i'm trying to kid this is yeah this is totally me i mean these are kind of shades i'm wearing at the moment so that's a good start this could be my bag actually don't know right let's do the next product next product again is is the Benefit Poreless Primer. So we've got that again. Yeah, don't need to go through that again. Um, the next product is again the Kira Moon Hydrating Serum. So these are the kind of products that they were gave us spoilers. So we've got two repeats, the Benefit and the Kira Moon product. Next is new, we've got a sponge. I always like a sponge. A makeup blending sponge from um, M2U nyc and um, this is worth six dollars a nice realistic price there these sponges are all right this super soft latex sponge blends foundation blush highlighter and more to an and more to an airbrush light finish for a picture perfect glow um, it's very sort of rubbery latex it's not like a beauty blender which tends to be more soft and spongy but they're okay um i must prefer I admit I prefer the sort of real techniques and beauty blender style sponges rather than these kind of latexy ones personally. But I still use them. I'm not going to get rid of it because I still use it. And the final product in this bag is from Tony Moly and it's I'm Red Wine Pore Tightening Mask. So it's another mask. Um, this is worth, it's a deluxe mini, but it's got a price value of $4.00. What's this mask do? Again, this is K Beauty. So we've got tighten, tone, and sculpt your face with help from this wash off mask. It starts as a smooth gel and tightens as it dries to help leave your skin looking and feeling visibly lifted and firmer. The innovative formula is packed with powerful ingredients like red wine extract and centella asiatica extract to help diminish the appearance of pores, smooth soothe irritation and increase collagen production um, how to use it after cleansing apply the mask to your face avoid in the eye area leave on until fully tightened and dry then gently rinse with lukewarm water do not peel follow with the remaining steps of your skincare routine so that's all cool yeah that's all cool all right so this bag oh i'm trying to think now is this my one or my daughter's one I'm kind of thinking now that this bag, this the second bag is more mine because there's more makeup in this one. So we've got the mask, which I don't mind a mask. And this one seems to be for older skin because I do give my age in my in my beauty profile. So they're talking about firming and lifting because they just assume everybody who is older has got saggy skin. <laughs> so we've got the mask. We've got the makeup sponge, which is very much me. We've got an eyeshadow palette, which is very much me. Um, we've got a primer, again, beauty product, makeup product, so that's me. And we've got the serum. This is this is a good bag as well. They're both good. So I'm happy with both. So $13, it's about £12. What do you think? I like both bags, actually. I like both bags. I think I prefer this second bag to the first one. But what I will do, I will show my daughter and then she can pick out what she wants and I'll take the, take the rest because I know I'm going to be getting plenty in my boxy charm and in my icon box, which I will do as separate videos coming up soon. All right, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will see you soon. <laughs> take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I always forget to say that. Always do. But thanks very much for watching. Take care. See you soon.